In only his second year on the bench, Dylan Hunter is already coaching at his second consecutive Memorial Cup. Competing for a national title is something he's already been through as a player, but this time, it's different. Uh, it's a little more stressful. Uh, you know, as a player, you're kind of in the moment in the game, and you know, you're just you know playing as best you can. And as a coach, it's obviously it's out of your control a little bit more. But uh, I'm excited for the guys. Uh, I know the feeling. Dylan captained the London Knights through their 2005 Memorial Cup win, a team that was coached by his father and current Knights head coach Dale Hunter. Last season, Dale took a head coaching job with the Washington Capitals, with his brother Mark taking over duties with the Knights. 2013 is the first time ever the father-son duo will compete for a Memorial Cup title since they both won it in 2005. Well, it is great. You know, he's been through it, so he's, he can really relate to the kids what the you know pressure is on these kids to to uh, deal with in a situation like this where you're, you know we're backs through the wall right now. We have to win, so he can help them that way. That he's been through it, and, uh, and he's uh, the kids look at him. He's still young enough that he's in he's in their turf, not not old like me. I guess what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, experience. I mean, you, you can't beat it uh, where he played and. Memorial Cup and won a Memorial Cup, so something like this, he can give that experience back to the players. Tomorrow night's tiebreaker will be the last chance for the London Knights if they want to keep their Memorial Cup hopes alive. But it's not the last chance for Dylan or for Dale. Both of them will be back on the bench for the London Knights next year in their hometown when London hosts the 2014 Memorial Cup, looking to repeat the success they started in 2005. Julie Stewart-Binks, TSN, Saskatoon.